decided to replace uh, a radiator valve in my son's bedroom with a new smart radiator valve. Uh, it's from a company called Hive. I have Hive um, thermostats in my house and, um, and other Hive products and I found them to be fairly decent so I thought I would give a powered radiator valve a go. I've decided to replace uh, this particular thermostat head in my son's bedroom okay because this room is quite a hot one and as you can see the thermostat head is simply set to max so I'm going to add something new to replace that and to remove the head it's simply a case of turning it up to maximum and unscrewing it below and that will remove the head from the radiator valve so this is basically what I found. It was discounted to about uh, £45 online on a clearance. So I thought I'll just buy one and give one a go. Now to open the box, you simply cut the little plastic seal that you have here. Okay. And what's inside the box, you get an installation guide. And Looks like this that we've got an adapter guide, which yeah, so we keep that. That's obviously a sizing tool. Some packaging. We've got an adapter ring, another adapter ring, a thermostat head, two batteries, an Allen key, and that's about it. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find ourselves an adapter guide which says it's this one and looking at the choice of adapters that we have this one looks like it's uh, the older type of Honeywell this one looks more of a standard type of thermostat head it looks to me like that just screws on like that so that's the adapter in place and the head uh, just screws on but before we do that Let's take the head off and put some batteries in it. Right, and to get the head off, which is the, the power head that comes supplied, there's a little divot there, so we press this, and in my case, because I'm free-handed, it just eases that out like that. And there we have the head unit that accepts the batteries. Batteries that are supplied are just the generic ones that you will find uh, supplied by manufacturers of budget sort of wireless thermostats and that sort of thing so there's a good likelihood that this has been made for Hive so we've got that in there and we've got a little signal going now so let's pop this oh ah one thing to note is there looks to be some kind of sensor there So let's pop this into place. So I believe it's simply a case of placing this on and screwing it down until it clicks and then turn it back to where you want it. Go. So now that is fully installed. So that's now fitted to the radiator. So now I'm going to open my Hive app and see if we can get this linked into my thermostat. All in all, that was reasonably straight forward to install and I've got a bit left over so there's all the bonus isn't it so all you need to do is to navigate to the home screen on your app and follow the steps on the screen simple as that so hive active heating add a radiator valve yep add a radiator valve click start Select your radiator valve. 
Um, it will just give you a few tips like how to remove the head, how to check the pin is, is moving. Yeah, it gives you a bit of information about what shape of valve you've got and how to connect the head, um, and how to find out using an adapter guide what kind of valve head you have. Describes the adapter and how it fits. How to insert the batteries, how to check the screen, and how to fit it onto the adapter itself, and how to connect it up. 